toxic. If it is toxic, that would... Maybe it is toxic, actually. It does outspeed me. Maybe it is toxic. He's faster than me, so... The... I'm gonna sack Among Us just for the information. I need to confirm his set, basically. It is Draco Meter, so I... Um... It's fine. Yo, what's up guys? AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video. Um, today we are going to be bringing the Drag Mac uh, team again. We the Swamp and the Weeball. Should be fun. Uh, we've played it. We played it quite a bit last video. We went three and now. Let's see if we can if we can continue the streak. Um, if you guys are interested in this team, by the way, you can check it out on Patreon. There will be a poker based plus team building video on this team. So check it out, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'm on my way to 3.9k subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, I would like to, I would like to hit 4k soon as well. Would be an would be an awesome milestone. Yeah, our battle is about to start, so uh, let's get it, boys. <clears throat> Okay, okay. Nice outfit, nice outfit. I don't think I will ever change my outfit. Uh, people are just so used to me having this. Okay, he has a Magnus on. I don't have a Steel type. Uh, he does have Lucario, which could be Vacuum Wave. Um, I really have to look at this because it really depends. Uh, I think Garchomp is going to be his style rocker. Uh, what I need to kill to win. Um, my dragon knife can be really good um, once I weaken Lugario a bit. Really depends on the Lugario set though, because if it's Ice Punch, it's gonna kill me regardless. So we gotta be a bit mindful there. Um, I do like my Swampert as a lead, I'd like to say. I don't know if he leads up with this though. Um, I do like Weavile as a lead as well. Um, so I'm gonna actually go and lead off Weavile. I think it gives me more offensive pressure against him. Like he goes Magnezone, but I have a Swampert. Which I can just switch into, so I don't really have to worry. I don't think he's gonna die to Brick Break. Let's see. I don't think he dies to Brick Break. At least from full. So I need I need a bit more damage on him. I, I'm not gonna stay in and take the damage. I'm just gonna go into Swampert. Maybe he's gonna make a switch into his. Maybe he's gonna make a double switch. But if I were to attack into him, that would suck. Uh, if he stays in. And he does stay in, because I'm faster than him, even with a choice scarf, he goes for flash cannon. And I think I'm just gonna go for rocks, because if Starmie comes in, I'm just gonna... Ooh, that's analytic. Analytic specs, yeah. That's, that's a bit painful. I can also Earthquake, which should do a lot to his team too. Okay. Oh, we're just gonna Stealth Rock. Garchomp comes in. I can Ice Beam the Garchomp here. With the Leftovers recovery, I don't think I should die to Draco Meteor. And this is gonna be his Stealth Rocker, so if he's greedy enough to click Stealth Rocker in my face, then that's that. Yeah. I get off my Ice Beam, and then I can click Earthquake on the next turn. And remember, if he ever decides to click... Um, If he ever decides to click um, the Rapid Spin with Starmie, I can go Mandibuzz. Like I said, it do this doesn't knock me out. And I knock him out there. So his Stealth Rocks are gone. My Swampert is still alive. And I can trap his Magnus on too. So what I'm going to do here, um, I'm just going to go into my uh, Mandibuzz, like I said. If he wants to Rapid Spin, I'll Defog. And unless this is analytic too, yeah. Let's see, it's not life warped. So I can get my defog off. It's leftovers. So he won't be able to two hit kill me here. And by going for the defog, set myself up. He goes for ice beam. I'm gonna do like 30, 35. Yeah. Which is not a two hit kill. He'll get my beautiful defog. Can roost on this turn. 
Assuming Magnezone might be coming in there. I'm just gonna roost. I don't want my Swamp Egg gone. Necess oh, he serves. Oh, that's good. And he won't be able to get up rocks. My Stealth Rocker is still alive, which I can use to get up rocks versus Magnezone. See, I am at... 76 36 should live and you turn there yeah exactly magnezone comes in get in my swamp i get leftovers back and i think i'm just gonna fire off an earthquake if he swaps out i get leftovers anyway but i also get damage off on starmie my, my, my many is outside of 2-hit KO range of Starmie. I could take two Ice Beams. He decides to go for Flash Cannon, so I don't even need to trap this guy anymore. And that Flash Cannon is not going to kill me. But it is it is Choice Specs Analytic, which is insane. The damage he did to me. But uh, yeah, he's gone. That's awesome. That's one Steel-type gone, too. I won't be able to get up rocks. Um, the reason I didn't go for rocks is he can easily rapid spin it anyway. Uh, I won't be able to get it up with Swampert anymore. But that's fine. I have Rocky Helm with Clear Smog and Mungus versus his Dragon Knight. can use this to sack him later on. But I can also use this to get in Weavile. What is the, what is the better play? Because I, I kind of want to use this as a sack later. Lugaro might decide to set up against me. I don't think I'm dying to Rapid Spin. Swampert versus Stormy. I'm pretty sure I don't die to Rapid Spin. Maybe it's better to sack this. That way I have Mandibus at full HP. Yeah, I think that's... That's the more reliable play. Yeah, should not die to this. Exactly. Meaning I can get off a big earthquake. Because I can still use uh, my... Uh, I can still use my Mandibus to beat this. And... An alternative play is going Magnezone there, which he did Rapid Spin, but it's leftovers. I can just Volt Switch there. Don't have to lock myself into something. If he goes into Rose Raid, I can use my Ice Step attack with Weavile, which with Starmie Weakened is, gonna, is not going to be pretty for him. And he does go for Serve, so I get off my Volt Switch. He should die. And I think the play we should make is just go into Mandibuzz. Get leftovers recovery. Because he might be afraid of going Dragon Knight due to foul play. He goes Dragon Knight anyway. I'm still going to U-turn. Okay, he's not afraid. Let me just U-turn then. And he decides to forfeit. So. <laughs> Pretty quick game there. Actually uh, closing in on the top 100 really, really quickly now. Um, again, 776. 774. So maybe one win. Maybe one win will put us there. I think two wins. Depending on the opponent we get. But uh, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's see what we'll face. Amungus. Ooh. If I get rid of Scizor and weaken Tyranitar a bit, I could win this game with Dragonite. As I'm able to set up on Amugas. Um, if it's a defensive Rotom, if I Dragon Dance once, I will be able to set up on him as well. Actually, I I think I'm still faster than defensive um, Rotom. If I'm correct. Yeah, I should still outspeed him. So yeah, the plan is really um, trying to... Wrap the scissor to win with Dragon Knight. 
and otherwise I need to get rid of Rodom and Scissor for Weavile, uh, one of the two. I can start this game off with uh, with Swampert. As it leads off with Shao. I'm not sure what kind of Mian Shao this is. Um, I'm just gonna go Among Us. If it's Rocky Hal, uh, if it's uh, Soul Best, that's fine. I don't want to get knocked off with Swampert. It's gonna be my main switch into Tyranitar as well. He does go for U-turn. Let's see if he's life warped. Crits me. Looks to be life worth. Yep. So it takes quite some bit, quite a bit of HP of my Among Us, meaning I won't be at full HP. He decides to go into his own, which is or whatever. And I don't know if he is gonna sludge bomb spam against me. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Mendy. This one is gonna be a bit annoying. Uh, it is sludge bomb. Uh, whatever. I do have Brave Bird on this, uh, which I'm gonna use here. He, he might try to stay in against me. Goes to Renatar. I could have U-turned. Maybe I should have. But now that I showed Brave Bird, um, the is that? If that's an offensive one, I'm gonna make a defensive switch. If that's a defensive one. Then I'm gonna make more. Let's see. I did how much? 10.6. So I think that's max HP. Okay, we're 10.6. I think that's a defensive Tyranitar. Um, so I'm gonna make the Swamp reply. Because um, if he sets up Stealth Rock, I want my own rocks up. He just goes for Edge. Which I should take decently well. Okay, that's Joyce Bandit. So it's Bilky Bandit. It is Bilky Bandit. Let's see. I'm gonna stall Rock here. I could have scalded, but maybe he goes Among Us. Then, get a, get, then getting up rocks will be an amazing feat. And I can make a more aggressive play um, by going into Mandy Buzz now and U turn on the next turn. He doesn't get left. He doesn't get Black Sludge recovery. So I assume this is gonna be Rocky Helmet. Uh, but now that he knows that I have Brave Bird. He will be m more likely to switch into Rotom or Tyranitar uh, when I bring in Manibus on his Among Us. Yeah, uh, the goal is still to trap Scizor. D don't know how we're going to do it, but he keeps throwing off Sludge Bombs trying to poison me. Uh, it works now. That's the annoying thing about Among Us, of course. But yeah, well, I'm going to U-turn there. Assuming he's going to swap there. Ideally, he goes into Tyranitar, because then I get a lot of mileage there. Yep. So we get this in. Amazing. Get on my U-turn. Icicle Spear would be really awesome. If I could kill, but I would probably need four hits against him. Eight four hits. I can break break, but I don't want to show it necessarily. If Rodom does come in and hitting him with break break would be nice. I already got damage off on Tyranitar, so that's basically the first step. So let, let me go into this, because if I go Swamp Bank, we can easily go back into Rodom or Amoongus, and I don't want to... I don't want to let it come down to a... Um, I don't want to let it come down to a Skull Burn. Because if I don't get a Scald Burn... Okay, stays in. Awesome. Tyranitar dies. Great. Scissor comes in. Uh, I assume he's just going to U-turn. Uh, but I'm going to bring in Among Us uh, of my own. I can literally trap this guy. Uh, Swamp it is still nice in the sense that it does something against Garchomp. And I got rocks up. I got... Stealth Rock damage off on Scizor, so it really depends on what kind of Scizor we're facing here. He just clicks Close Combat, anticipating the, uh, the Magnezone, probably. Um, let's see... I kinda wanna double there. 
I'm gonna double down because I got him weakened, so it's actually really nice. Yeah, let me double into Dragon Knight. There's, this is low risk. And that close combat did 26.3 to my... Um... Okay, uh, let's see. Among Us. Because that might be Bandit Scissor. Close combat. How much is it? 26.3, that's Bandit. So I can Dragon Dance here. Oh, oh, we're doing it to him, boys. We're doing it to him. Unless he has foul play on this, which I don't think he has. Because he was showing Sludge Bomb versus me. Um, I'm, I'm just going to sub. If he does a foul play, then I have to change my strategy a bit. But I assume he has Spore on this. He could have foul play, so I'm just going to drag. Maybe I'm just going to Dragon Claw him. Because if that's the case, then next time I'm just going to use Substitute instead of, uh... Yeah. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna Roost. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna figure out if he has Foul Play on this. But that, this way I'll be at full HP next time. It is Foul Play, okay, so... Oh, hold up. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. I'll play. I did 38. So it's not gonna kill. A lot of foul play among us. Is. A lot of them. I'm gonna go into my own among us because he's gonna take um, the damage himself. Oh, that's insane. If I went for substitute there, but it's fine. Um, let's see. I try to toxic air. Just want to see how he plays this. Um, okay. Now that I know he has foul play, the next time I get in that scenario, um, the next time I get in that specific scenario, I will use. I, I'm not too worried about choice bandit scissor. I can easily deal with that if he clicks spore. But now he cannot click spore uh, on my other Pokemon, which is fine. And he's using foul play uh, anyway, so it, it's really okay. Gonna bring in my. He's pro he probably wants to. Um... Probably wants to get up his own rocks. I'm considering going Weavile here. But. I can burn a sleep turn on this. I don't think he has Hidden Power of Fire next to it. <clears throat> But I can just burn a sleep turn. Uh, it's completely fine. And I can go Swampert. Amoongus is still alive. Uh, it's live for me and Xiao. But next time, I'm, I won't be Dragon Dancing against Amoongus. Uh, that way I literally beat him 1v1. Okay, let's see. I haven't revealed Ice Beam. I'm still gonna scald, uh, trying to get a burn on this Amoongus. I think scald is the overall um, more reliable play. And Giga drain me, of course. I'm gonna go into this. Bit of uh, annoying uh, that this one is running. Because if I if I burn him with scald. Um, he, he won't be able to break my sub with foul play, and then I literally sweep him with Dragon Knight. He doubling? What is he? Okay. Um, it's fine, I guess. We're gonna go into Mungus here. 
I, I just I, I just know what I have to do to beat him um, using Dragon Knight at a, at a certain point. So we're just gonna use uh, Clear Smog here, assuming he's gonna go into his Amoongus. I got free damage off on me, and so he's gonna be here. Bit more annoying that he got up rocks now, especially with the sludge bomb poison on my Mandy Buzz, but yeah, what, what can I do against that, right? Amoongus comes in again. Like, I need to get Weavile in, but on the other hand, if I get Weavile in, he has two resists to me. I really have to do it with, um... I don't know if he's gonna double again, but, uh, we get in this guy. I think I'm just gonna defog at this point. I don't think I need more damage off on Scizor, and I want to win this game with Dragonite. So he keeps doubling, doubling down, goes into Shao again, but that's a bit annoying. Making place. I am gonna die to close combat, so I am forced to swap here. Uh, let's get back. Let's, let's get back in the Amoongus. Um, I ju I just know what I have to do. I basically don't have to let hi him. Combat comes out, it's fine. Still gonna look to, um, still gonna look to use a bit of a setback that he got uh, Stout Rock up against me, of course, but yeah, can do. He's gonna click Sludge Bomb again, most likely. It's too risky for me to go for a Scald Burner. Like, if he wants to double again, then be my guy. You can be my, be my guest. I'm just trying to get in my Dragonite again. Because I know my Dragonite is going to beat his Rotom. He keeps doubling, yeah. Okay. I don't have pursuit on my um, on my Weavile, so that kind of sucks. But I'm kind of looking to defog uh, with my Mandy Buzz. That makes sense. It's gonna U-turn again. Kinda sucks that I allowed him to. It's just because of the poison on my Mandy Buzz that he could make plays like these. Goes into Scizor. Um, I should be outside of range, and he gave me free stealth rock damage. So again, uh, we're gonna use Skull there. Um, is that gonna kill? I was gonna say, bro. A max defense. Well, he just gave me Scizor, so I'll take it. I'll take it. He gave me Scizor. Like, that close combat play was not worth it for him. Definitely not. Because now it looks even easier to sweep him with my, um, with my Dragonite. So it's probably just going to click uh, close combat there. I think I can still use. Let's sec this. That way I get my free switch, and if he goes Mandy Buzz, I can... If he goes Amoongus, I can um, use Mandy Buzz to defog. And try to win this game with Dragon Knight, because at this point, I don't need I don't need Dragon Dance to beat... If I'm behind a sub, I will beat Mia Chao anyway, regardless. Okay, and he goes into this. I just don't know how fast he is. So that's something we gotta keep in mind. Okay. Because if he's faster than Dragon Knight, that can be an issue. How much speed does he even need to? It's leftovers. No, don't. Gosh, how much speed does he need to outspeed my Dragon Knight? I think going Dragon, if I go Dragonite, 
get off my substitute, that would be really awesome. Dragon Knight. Uh, let's see, does Amungus Amungus doesn't break my sub with Ball Player, right? If I don't if I don't set up. Oh, he actually does break my sub with Ball Play. It's a bit annoying. So I'm gonna make the Dragon Knight play, I assume, because of the leftovers that I'm outspeeding him. I can use Substitute there. Volt Switch won't break my sub at least. So I have Dragon Knight in um, behind the sub. He's forced to go Among Us. He actually goes Garchomp. It's a bit surprising. Let's see if I got leftovers. A roost there. I don't know if this is Draco. Um, Fire Blast is definitely not breaking my sub, bro. Oh, it is breaking. Oh, because of the Volt Switch damage, I see. But no, I can Dragon Dance in his face. I don't think it's toxic. If it is toxic, that would... Maybe it is toxic, actually. He does outspeed me. Maybe it is toxic. He's faster than me, so. Because if it is toxic, then. This can be Rocky Helmet Garchomp, for all I know. Um, Fire Blast. I, we only saw him using Stout Rock. Scissor is gone, though. Um, so I need, I need my Defog up, which I can use against the Mungus. Against Rotom, it's gonna be a bit more tough. The... I'm gonna sack Among Us just for the information. I need to confirm his set basically. It is Draco Meter, so I. Um, it's fine. We dropped his special attack. And let's see, maybe I can still wake up. Um, I burn a sleep turn. If I don't wake up, I at least got the information uh, that this Garchomp is on uh, Draco. He swaps out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm faster than you. I can flash cannon on you too. Yeah, because uh, I burned sleep turns and that's life for me and Shao. Like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> what the heck are you doing, bro? Maybe he was fearing hidden power rise, but uh, I killed... That guy, so that's amazing. Oh, a Garchum comes in. Which is the only thing that... Yeah, I'm just gonna flash cannon you too. Like, I don't give a shit now. I crit him there, which is unfortunate for him, of course. But now he dies to Stealth Rock, so he needs to defuck from me. He would need to defuck from me. I get in my Weave out, force him out. And we can use... I can just use a Night Slash. I don't really need this. But he might be Rocket Helmet. I still think we Night Slash though. Like if Garchomp dies, um, then... Because he, he can still defuck for his Garchomp, which can stop my Dragon Knight in his tracks. Uh, but now he's forced to... Now uh, he can go Among Us. And I think I can just sack my own. Defog with Mandy Buzz. There are two ways to go about this. I can also just Night Slash here. I, I, I literally think I win with... Um, I literally think I win with Dragonite. And having, having the damage off on him there really helps. And I'm gonna let him s kill my Among Us. I'm gonna let him kill my Among Us. Like, he, he needs to Volt Switch here anyway. Otherwise, he's gonna take a Giga Drain. Or just Giga here. And my opponent decides to forfeit. So 
Yeah, it became a bit annoying, of course. Uh, but once I figure out what his Garchomp set was, um, I didn't want to risk the Toxic from Garchomp. Like, he wasn't Life Warped. He did reveal Fire Blast, though. But he wasn't Life Warped. That's, so, I... That's why... I decided to check on him first, because if he wasn't toxic, then I knew I could do it later. I forced him out with Weavile, then defog with many buzz later. Um, that's basically it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let's see if that puts us at... That doesn't put us at top 100, unfortunately, so probably going to get it in the next one. 776.79, so, and we are 0.9, so we need like 0.70 points. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and uh, check out my team on Patreon. There's a Poker Pace plus team running video. And yeah, I also offer team building support on Patreon and live one on one coaching if you guys are interested. But with that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys next time.